We're gonna do some subitizing, and we're gonna start off with some easy ones, but it's gonna get real hard real fast. You will have three seconds to view an image, and after the three seconds, you need to know how many dots there are. That's it, okay? Here's our warm up. Three seconds on the clock. Here's our first dot. On your marks, get set. How many dots are there? How many? How many dots are there? Let's take one last look. Did you guess 15? Okay, so now if you got 15, we gotta figure out how you got 15. Did you see it like this with a square here? And then you just look for the other squares? In that case, you would have said, oh, I see a three by three, and that's three squared, plus this two by three over here, two, four, six. So if you saw a three by three and you knew that was nine, and then added the six, then you got 15. Cool, cool, some people think like that, but some people don't. Some people saw it a different way. Some people saw it like this. They saw that bottom row and they counted two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. They counted two, six times. And then they saw that leftover three, in which case two times six is 12, plus three gives you 15. That's fine. But some people, some people have a very different kind of brain. They did not see this. They saw the completed rectangle. And when they saw the completed rectangle, they said, oh, that's a six by three rectangle with three missing. So the full rectangle would have been 18, but now I got to count those three that are missing. I got 15. There are lots of ways to think about it and lots of ways to represent it with mathematical symbols. But that was a warm up. Take a look at this image you see here. Are you ready? One, two, three. Did you get 18? Now I'm leaving it up here because I want to talk about it. If you saw a six by three, did you move that one there to that missing spot and say, oh, that's a six by three? Or did you not? Maybe you said, I see a square right here and I see another square right here. That's a three squared and a three squared. So that's nine plus nine is 18, which means you had to move that little one there anyway. So those were circles, not so shabby, right? Now I'm telling you a circle makes one, but I'm not gonna be showing you circles on this round. Are you ready? On your marks, get set. How many are there? And now we're getting into the hard part. Okay, so how many did you get? I'm not so concerned about how many you got because that was kind of a warm up. Here comes the real one. Get ready because you're going to start writing down on that worksheet I gave you. Okay, you've got three seconds on the clock. A circle makes one. How many are here? How many did you get? Okay, because now, now we're cooking with some math, all right? I'm gonna ask you how many there are. I'm going to ask you how did you count it. I'm gonna ask you what are some other ways you could count it. And I'm gonna ask how can you represent that mathematically. The entire purpose of this video here is for you to practice using math symbols and to be thinking in new ways. So this is the worksheet that I gave you and we're about to start using it. In the first box here, you could draw the image that you are about to be shown. So you're gonna see it for three seconds, but then you can pause the video and then draw it here from memory. Then you're gonna tell me how many there are. Those two parts are the easy part. Now we're gonna get into this other box here which says, how did you see it? And that's where I want you to draw mathematically how you saw it. And then if we can talk to partners, we can talk to somebody else. So have this worksheet out, put your name on the top, put the date on the top, and now we are ready to roll. Here we go, on your marks, get set. Three seconds on the clock. How many are here? All right, now look at your worksheet. First, draw it from memory. Now get the total amount and see if you can represent that with math symbols. I'm just gonna let the video run for three minutes while you do that.
Here comes the second one. The second one says, three seconds on the clock. I'm going to start off with a fourth, and I'm going to ask you how many is here. Are you ready? On your marks. Get set. All right, so once again, I want you to try to draw it from memory. I want you to write down the total amount, represent it with math symbols, and I'm going to just let the video run for three minutes while you work on that. Here is our last one. You got three seconds. This is the last one you got. We're talking now about fractions, so get ready. We're going to go over these number talks. We're going to go over this in your math groups. Right now, I'm very proud of the work you did because that was pretty hard, wasn't it, keeping all that stuff in your head? Now, the thing about number talks is things that seem so impossible, they get a little more easier when we talk about it, doesn't it? So yes, we will be talking about this in your groups, but until then, I got to go calculate some big formulas like this guy. <laughs> 